Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. It is Rock and Roll Friday on The Savage Nation. You finally made it to Friday, did you? What are you going to do with the weekend? Well, whatever you want to do, it's your business, it's a free country. I just heard a news story at the top of the hour, the two Muslim men were fired from a trucking company because they refused to deliver alcohol. The company was in the business of delivering alcohol. So the Muzzies found a lawyer, a lawyer probably from Brooklyn, who sued the trucking company for violating their religious rights. And guess what happened? The Muzzies won $40,000. The trucking company lost. Unless the lawyers are stopped, you will not have a country. Period. End of story. Which leads us to the next question. There really was no question in the first statement. Taught lawyers have destroyed the United States of America. Barry Obama is a lawyer. He never practiced law. He wasn't smart enough to be a lawyer. He was only smart enough to be pushed in to make sure that the lawyers could ply their evil trade. But the fact of the matter is, the lawyers are killing America. Now, that's not tied to the next question. Yesterday, I touched on the fact well, let me go backwards to yesterday on the Savage Nation. By the way, this is not a show coming in on your tooth filling. This is the Savage Nation heard on approximately 250 stations across America in drive time on the East Coast. And I've been on the air for 21 years. Now, here's the question. Men, young men particularly. Remember yesterday I said to you that you wouldn't be here? Was it not for your mother? I bet that's the first time you ever heard that in your life. Many young men are afraid to get married. They're afraid to have children. And I'm speaking specifically about white males. Young white males are afraid to get married. They're terrified of the responsibility of raising children. And I'm going to ask young men out there to tell me why they're afraid to get married. What is it that keeps you from getting married and having a family? You do realize that unless you get married and have a family... A, your family line dies. That's number one. That used to be a thing. People would say, I don't want my family line to die out. It was something that every young man carried around in his heart and his mind since he was a product of, what, hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, millions of years of evolution, hundreds of thousands of a family years of a family line. And now what? You're going to let your family line die out because of what? Internet pornography? That you can go into a bar and meet someone and just have sex? And what do you need a woman for? Is that what you're thinking? Now, I want to do a lifestyle show for the first half hour of the program because it's connected to zero culture in uh, government zero. Why are you afraid to get married? Why are you afraid to have children? What's stopping you? What did it to you? What happened to your brain? You know, this is a break not only with history, not only with human history, but it's a break with everything reasonable. It's a form of cultural suicide for an entire generation of young white males to not get married and have children. It's a form of cultural and personal suicide ending your family line. At the same time you're doing this, the evilest people in the history of the world are flooding America with immigrants who have no problem with having 6, 10, 18, 12 children, whatever. As many as they can get away with dumping on our shores to take care of, that you take care of, by the way. How is this happening? How is this happening that the West has young men, whether it's in Norway, Denmark, Holland, Sweden, Germany, France, Italy, the United States of America, Australia? What happened to the white race? Dare I say it's racial? Because the white race has the lowest percentage of children of any race on earth. Replacement children. Now, why am I talking about it? Why shouldn't I talk about it? Is it illegal? Is it on some banned list that I can't raise this issue? I want to know what happened to young white men. Why have they stopped getting married? What are they afraid of? Alexander, WABC, you took the bait. You're on the Savage Nation. What prevents you from getting married, Alexander? Um, well, for somebody like me who's kind of been an outlier as a conservative uh, Long Island Jewish guy, 
um, the values that I hold that were taught to me by my uh, grandparents, who, by the way, one of them actually lived on Longfellow Ave in the Bronx, uh, those values are really hard to find in a hookup culture and a club culture and a, a drinking culture and a, a, an app, an application where you're supposed to pick up a girl over the, over, <laughs> over a phone. Are you, I, Al, Alexander, are you a religious Jewish person? I'm, so I was raised conservative Jew, which is almost like reform nowadays, but, um, I would say that I'm far more religious than most people in my age demographic, but not. Well, not so you're in a, you're in a very gray zone because the Orthodox Jewish people have arranged marriages and they get married and have large families. That you know, right? Yeah, it's a hundred percent. And the liberal Jewish men generally don't get married by and large. They get married. They just don't marry a Jew, and they don't carry to carry forth the tradition that has been uh, going on for five, over five thousand years. And it doesn't make any sense to me why they, they, they lack the pride. So, so, but I'm saying you're in a gray zone. You can't meet a woman because you're not a religious Jew, and you're not a and you're not a, a liberal Jew. You're sort of in the gray zone. You're a, what's called a conservative Jew, and what there are no women at all in that group. I wouldn't say there's no women, but it's hard to find uh, somebody that. Uh, ideologically and morally and ethically and with the same family values. Uh, Maybe I'm going to have to create a dating app on michaelsavage.com to help people get married. <laughs> Look, I, if I could just say, I've been listening to you. I went to college, a liberal college, Boston University. I studied Sorry to hear uh, it. Islam and foreign policy, the whole thing. And then I got out of college and I started listening to you, started reading the history on my own and you know, I could have saved myself one hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know, why don't you, <laughs> why don't you start? Yeah, it? yeah, you could have saved a lot of money if you had gone directly to the University of Savage. But no, okay, you got your degree. Do you have a job? I do. I do. Luckily, I have. Oh. Uh, wait, 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 no, I'm I'm being very serious. I asked a loaded question. Young men, why are you afraid to get married? And it goes back to yesterday's show. Did you hear yesterday's program where I said I've gone through some very dark phases in my life? And were it not for my family, I probably wouldn't have been able to go through those phases. But I was very lucky to to have a strong family to to fall back upon. And as I said to someone in my family, was it not for your mother, you wouldn't be here. Which is quite a, a remarkable idea for most young men who don't understand that. Young men who say, I don't want to get married, I don't need to get married, I have loads of girlfriends, what do I need it for? And I look at them and I say, well, if it wasn't for your mother, you wouldn't be here. It's quite a revelation, isn't it? so prescient that uh, you're almost uh, inside my mind here and I'll all right well look I'm glad you took I, I'm glad you took the uh, the the I should say the you, the hook for today's show because I want to do this a little bit I'm not going to do it for three hours but I really want to know why and I'm going to send you a copy of what if you name it you gain it what's the name of the book uh, zero zero no I'm sorry <laughs> No, no, you didn't get the name right. Sorry, Alexander, you don't get the book. See, I'm not that nice a guy. I have good news for those of you out there who love my show and love the book. Government Zero is this week's featured conservative book club editor's pick. Did you know that? Government Zero was also the featured article in Monday's editor's pick newsletter for the conservative book club. And the 1026 newsletter went out to over 158,000 conservative book club opt-in list members. So the book is getting an awful lot of play. And I want to thank many of you for uh, all of you who have gone out and, and supported the show and the message. But I want to go back to the main issue. I think it's a good issue. I think it's an important issue. And it's a simple one that I raised yesterday. Uh, one particular race on the planet is not reproducing sufficient numbers of their own to survive much longer. If you look at replacement rates, I think the number is you need um, I think it was three children per family, or is it? You need three children per family to reproduce your your race. I know you can't mention this, but I guess I will because I have no other way to put it. So if you have 2.1 children, which is the average in some countries where Europeans uh, reside, in Sweden it's 1.1 per couple. In Italy, I think it's less than zero. Apparently, Italian men like themselves so much, they don't want to give themselves away to women. I think their rate is about 0 0.1 children per couple. So few people in Italy are getting married, it's not, it's hardly noticeable. And this is a reality. Now, and this is an important issue for a couple of reasons. It's because of this demographic 
time bomb. And it's an inverted demographic time bomb amongst white people. It's because of this demographic time bomb that those who are running the country are bringing in tens of millions of illegal aliens who have very large families because they need to keep the factories running. They need to have the sheets changed in the hotels, uh, et cetera. You can fill in the blank, can't you? So it's a good question. It's a good starter. Why, why are you not getting married? What are you afraid of? Eight five five four hundred seven two eight. You think it was ever easy to get married and have children? Even in my time, I didn't. You know, I was a young teacher. There's a, people said, you know, well, we can't afford children, or the world's coming to an end. It's so horrible. You know, the days of the late sixties, early seventies. Oh, the world's coming to an end. There's acid rain. There's this. There's that. Everyone had an excuse for not having a child. Life went on in the Middle Ages during the Black Plague. People had children. People in the Holocaust and the concentration camps had babies and hid them from the Nazis. Did you know that? I don't think you even know that. This is a nation that has a culture of death as its primary motif. We may as well have the death head on our flag. You may as well take a skull and pro crossbones and put it on the American flag. And I'm not blaming Obama for this. Don't get me wrong. This is not Democrat or Republican. This is quite something else. And I want you to talk about it. So maybe young men will find out that they're not alone in their viewpoint. The phone number here is 855-400-7282. I got some great callers here. I don't know why you don't, uh, no one's ever heard of this topic. But here's one, K-B-O-I-L, a woman on the answer of why men are afraid to get married. Why? Hi, Michael. Well, the bottom line is that there are more men behaviorally with vaginas and more women with penises they are have been the single single mother culture has created men who have not that's quite graphic but what you're saying the men have become feminized basically basically yeah and our present administration encourages it they want us to have single mother families where there's no fathers teaching manhood when a man doesn't um thrive in bringing responsibility to the family actually scientifically speaking dr pat allen talks about this every friday night on her radio show the testosterone is misused and they are literally a cancer breeding body because their testosterone is being misused they're afraid of responsibility but that is oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, now you're mixing up apples with oranges i'm just making it very simple to men why men are you afraid to get married now you're saying something a little different i think your main point though is that an entire generation of males especially white males have been feminized would you say that's a fair summary of what you said yes they're afraid of okay for that reason you get a copy of it if you name it you gain it what's the name of the book Permit zero you got it stay in the line now now that opens the show to rock and roll friday we'll be back with more music more conversation than you can possibly get for the rest of your life right here on the savage nation Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O, the music of today. I took that B and I threw her on her back. I broke her neck and I threw her in the neck. I threw her in the back and I broke her back. I treated her like garbage and she won't come come back what a difference no no cultural reasons for why men don't get married huh when you treat women like garbage when your songs are about women are garbage when you have men that glorify the abuse of women through their songs and their poetry if you want to call that gutter garbage poetry you think it's happening by accident and then you've got another reason women who will lie and call 911 to have men arrested to have control over their husbands, saying, oh, he committed domestic abuse. Some of it may be true, but women know that all they got to do is call 911. They can destroy a man. Thank your lawyers for that. Thank everyone with a shingle hanging outside their, uh, their office or inside their office. Everyone who has a law degree knows what I'm talking about. Number of reasons. And then what about the, fe the, the movement, the women's movement? Has that helped men trust women? Battle axes like that, take a look at them. They hate men, most of them. It's not a women's movement.